Interesting. Let's talk, though, autos and aerospace now. The UAW having some success uh, with its plea to shut down some of the big three auto plants. Uh, and Boeing is seeking billions in aid. Phil LeBeau uh, is covering both of those stories for us. And I, I go back in time when you decided on your beat, LeBeau, and, you know, you are... <laughs> You're a smart guy. I mean, it's it's always and, and, front and center. It's the most front and center beat yeah, there and is. I, I Joe, I never thought that I would be revisiting the discussions we had in late 2008, early 2009. But we're there again. You know, this time, though, it involves the aerospace industry. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's start first off with the auto industry. The UAW yesterday was saying, look, we think we need to shut down these plants for at least two weeks. Well, they met with the CEOs of the big three. Last night, they agreed on a partial shutdown. Essentially, you're looking at a shift on, a shift off, along with other agreements with the uh, automakers to do deep cleanings, to make it as safe as possible at the plant. So for now, you are seeing U.S. auto plants continuing to run, even with those uh, new safeguards. They are not doing a complete shutdown. Meanwhile, what's going on with Tesla? This is a great question. The plant in Fremont, California is in a county where they have said you're essentially going to lock down unless you are deemed an essential service. Well, the sheriff there has said it's not essential. Elon Musk sent out an employee email yesterday that uh, Laura Kolodny at CNBC.com got a hold of, and he said, I'm coming into work. If you're sick and you can't come into work, we understand, but I'm going to be in at work. So will we see production out at the Freebond plant for Tesla? We've reached out to the company. We haven't heard yet. Let's shift gears and talk a little bit about Boeing. As you guys mentioned, they are asking lawmakers and the Trump administration for a aid package totaling at least $60 billion. There would be some loan guarantees there, though the exact terms still need to be worked out. And I know we have Carter Copeland coming up in a bit, and I have a question for him. Uh, American Airlines announcing last night that it's going to be shutting some of its Admiral Clubs. These are the frequent flyer lounges that you see at all their hubs around the world. People aren't flying. No reason for the, the, the clubs to stay open. And, oh, by the way, United Airlines also increasing the amount of cancellations in its schedule, now going up to 60%. And finally, the... Air traffic control tower at Midway Airport here in Chicago, it closed temporarily yesterday, and it is still closed after members uh, there, some of the workers there, came down with the coronavirus. So they shut it down. Now, that doesn't mean that the airport was shut down. They were still able to shift some of those duties elsewhere, and there's a reduced rate, so the airport is still open Albeit, guys, you don't see as many people at not only Midway, but really any airport. And, Andrew, getting back to this question about uh, aid for Boeing, I have to tell you that I am increasingly hearing people whisper, if not outright say, if they're not going to come up with aid for Boeing, how much longer before we start to hear people openly say, maybe Boeing goes bankrupt? Right. Because at some point, that discussion is going to have to come up. Now, I'm not saying that Boeing is at that point yet. But they are hemorrhaging cash. They're burning through it quickly. And I think the lawmakers are increasingly hearing, and I know they're hearing right. from executives at Boeing, that this is, this is a dire situation. It, it, this is right. not a kick it around and discuss for a week or two. They need to do something and do it now. This is what I, you know, I talked to some major investors over the weekend, and I had even raised the issue of this company having, quote, negative value uh, when we were on the broadcast earlier this week. This is what people are talking about in terms of where this stands right yep. now.